Hey there folks, today we're taking a look at McFarland Toys First Dragon in this century. Alright, first up we got some little magic characters from D&D. I thought they'd be a good comparison for the dragon. And there's a little bit of a closer look at them. Pretty neat little characters, I borrowed them from my son. Anyways, this dragon, which I also borrowed from my son, he purchased the first one that came out. This thing is outstanding. Just that head alone. I mean, I wish I could shrink it down and put it on a different figure. Here we have a size comparison next to Gotham Knight Batman. So you can see, it's quite a massive figure. Um, let's go ahead and compare it to a Build-A-Figure from DC. Here we have Solomon Grundy. As you can see, it's still bigger than that. And one thing that it maybe is about the same size is this croc. But that kind of gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. But this is an absolutely amazing sculpt. I mean, <clears throat> the paint job they did on this is excellent. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around here for you so you can see from the different angles. I mean, just that mouth. Just the mouth of that dragon looks like it could eat you whole. Let's go ahead and spin it around here so you can get a complete look. There's only one thing I would change, and that's that the wingspan would go out further rather than higher. But as far as putting it on a shelf, I can understand why he did it the way that he did it. But looking at that head again, um, me personally, I'm tempted to want to custom paint this because the details that have gone into this thing are fantastic. And I've owned some of the old McFarlane Toys Dragons from uh, back in the early 2000s. And I think this meets that standard and takes it up another notch. No articulation, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And next, let's take a look at Starro. All right, folks, this collect-to-build figure is out of this world. Uh, first, let's take a look at the little Starro babies that go on the seven-inch action figures. Um, I love this whole wave, the Injustice League. I thought it was fantastic. Here's a size comparison with Gotham Knight Batman. As you can see, Starro is huge, and this is kind of how the Starro babies would go on the chest of the figures. One thing that I do remember is in some of the cartoons and movies, the Starros would go on the face, but I think the chest works just as well. Um, as you can see, it doesn't work that well on the head. Um, and I like the fact that they're a little bigger and have some girth to them rather than just like a little rubber band thing you'd put on the head. So anyways, I've been able to get five of them. Uh, let's do a size comparison with a different collective build. This is Grundy. I customized him as you can see. And then let's go ahead and check out Croc because we already have him out. Um, that's a mega fig. It's still bigger than the mega fig. I mean, not as far as matter is concerned, but as far as height, it's definitely taller. So, again, this Starro figure is so true to form. It is so true to the comics and even the movies. Like, this thing is outstanding. The details that they put into this and even the articulation. Look at the articulation in the legs. Like, that's something I would not expect because to do the wire like that, you know they had to tool it and you know they were working with it for a while to be able to get that hard rubber to be able to bend that way and also a wire in there that was loose enough here we're going to take a look at the mouth now this mouth is not short on teeth and it will swallow you whole put my ow 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 get your finger out of there it'll kill you anyways i love the tentacles on the legs i love everything about them i love the starfish look um if there's going to be a cosmic threat this is something that I could totally see coming out of a 1950s sci-fi horror film. And I think McFarlane just really did a good job bringing it to life. Now, me personally... Uh-oh, he's being eaten! He's, e he's being eaten! Oh, no! Anyways, like I was saying, this figure, I personally want to custom paint it and give it a little bit more depth, but I don't think they did a bad job either. So, anyways... Thank you for watching uh, these reviews with me. I hope you enjoyed checking out these figures, and please be sure to subscribe. All right, guys, take care, and I'll check you later. Peace.